Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today, uh, we're just going to be going back over uh, to uh, sorry Monday, February 29th, 2016, the London breakout trades. We'll look at the pound, the euro, the pound New Zealand, and the pound Aussie, just uh, for example's sake. So, just uh, coming back to a couple of basic things. Uh, previous day. Uh, on the daily charts, a lower, a high being broken, but also the opening range in that first hour of the London session, the 2 a.m. New York candle, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. We often look for one of those uh, extremes to be the high or the low for the session and possibly even for the 24-hour uh, session as it is, it is the largest market during currency trading. So just taking a look at the pound here, uh, during Asia we had a fairly narrow range but what we did see is that the low was taken out from the previous day. The opening candle for the uh, London session immediately broke out quite heavily trying to retest uh, possibly 50% uh, roughly of the previous day's breakout. The market immediately reversed into the second hour of the session and then continued to trend lower to where it retested those lows from the Asian session. As it opened up into the U.S. market, it, it did reverse and then retested the previous high from London. But the London Open did give traders somewhere in the area of at least 25 pips uh, tradable profit to the low. But again, that opening range retest uh, did form a high. As soon as it reversed the open of London, uh, aggressive traders may have shorted it on the close. They may have limit ordered the opening hour or just uh, traded the breakout down lower. But again, as that approaches the lows from the previous uh, Asian session, traders would have been at uh, going to break even as soon as it got down in towards that low or even taking profit. So again, just that first couple of hours set up a high for the Asian market or the uh, London Open, sorry. And as traders saw that reverse, they could have shorted that and traded that down to the low. So if they went in at the close, 38.68, the low from Asia was uh, at 40. So there was definitely 25 pips with the spread of tradable profit. And then, of course, into the U.S. market. But that London session, fairly uh, tight range and less aggressive. Traders may have wanted to short that somewhere in the 50% range, uh, which, again, you can see that London breakout did retest the 50%, so aggressive traders may may have looked to short somewhere in that close of the, of the first hour, and even if their stop was above that other bar, they would have been looking at roughly a one-to-one -one risk reward. Looking at the euro, euro again broke out and immediately reversed. We had Asia uh, giving us lows, very, very, very minor uh, touch of the previous day's low, uh, but traders who saw that knew there was orders that were going to be hit underneath of that ten, uh, you know, 9, 10 range, and if they'd shorted the close, they roughly were looking at uh, somewhere in the area of uh, 50 pips, so not a bad range on the Europe Euro, Euro move, and about uh, definitely a one-to-one -one risk reward. Um, fairly straightforward. Uh, the market immediately reversed and did form a high for that 24-hour session on the ten, the 3 a.m. candle. So again, uh, that initial balance critical. Previous day's higher low, 50% uh, areas uh, breakouts marginal new highs and then uh, opening range so some simple strategies again just looking at uh, opening range and the London breakout so here we are on the pound Aussie the market uh, immediately opened up made a new high which took out the Asian high and also uh, the previous day's high immediately reversed uh, traders may have looked to limit ordered the low of the opening candle or even went in at the close. Um, 
the low for that session took them down to 93.45 area. Uh, the close of that second hour was at uh, 94.20. So 50 pips for sure, uh, one to one risk reward definitely. Uh, again, uh, as it approaches previous areas of support or lows, the traders need to be prepared to go to break even or uh, even trailing their position to exit. So Pound Aussie gave a nice breakout pullback. That initial uh, balance again, the 10 o'clock candle did form the high of the session as well as for the day. And uh, pretty simple. Looking at the Pound New Zealand market uh, in Asia, it, we had a high and a low market opened on a gap and formed a, a new high right off the start of the day so obviously bulls were in control there uh, the market um, opened up within range it immediately drove to a new low on the second hour uh, the 11 o'clock candle gave a nice pullback so traders looking to trade that micro trend line drive were able to possibly trap 960 uh, not a lot of movement, only 20 pips, um, but again, as soon as we see the second bull candle appear, traders would have definitely been looking to be a break even. Um, hard to go against the bullish trend on that gap. The gap was filled barely, which again shows quite a bit of uh, a, a desire on the bulls part to get back in to the market not pulling back a lot and then of course we drove back up to take out the highs of the day so a um, little bit tougher to trade that but again if you're sticking with the original uh, gap which is a spike we we know that we're looking for an opportunity to enter that trade in again long the 10 o'clock candle formed a buying low area on top of the previous day's high so smart bulls would have been looking to re-enter that trend with as low a risk possible uh, into the US session. Hopefully you got some value out of today's video traders again trend lines opening range previous days highs and lows and if you are looking at some simple concepts like that you'll start to see the same patterns reproduce over and over again and if you can get good at mastering that that reproducibility is there each day for you uh, there's five six pairs at least that will give two or three really really good clean trades and if you can get good at those traders it can make all the difference in the world hopefully you got some value from today's video I appreciate your feedback and your comments again I'll try and keep these videos up to date and can and current and if you have any questions please send them to me and may the markets go with you. Have a great day, traders. Hi, traders. It's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.